Shalom unto the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Chodash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders, a great millstone that teach in that Ruel today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith, starting off, which we'll consider the 144,000 and the one third, which is the elect, a Negro, a, a, a so called Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of thy father. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick, straight to the point lesson. As you can see, you know, I got the, you know, the latest news that's taken, you know, currently here on the earth. Okay, which this ties into biblical prophecy. And here at Great Millstone, okay, we are constantly focusing on prophecy. Okay, yeah, we touch on other subjects when it comes to, you know, containing the, the, the scriptures. Okay, but the main thing is prophecies. Okay, because we're in the prophecy of the time of who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai, okay, is about to make his second coming. And like I say, lately in the news, which happened over uh, over the weekend, currently Saturday, okay, the past Saturday, you know that if you know by now, this whole attack that took place in the land of Israel from um, uh, Hamas, okay, over there, you know, in, uh, in uh, Palestine, okay, which, you know, it's an act of war, okay, you see Gaza. As you see, I got a couple of, you know, just the news, okay? News about Hamas, Gaza, and Israel. We just had an attack, with it, which they say that, you know, over there in Israel, they was hit by 5,000 rockets from uh, Hamas. You know, people over there being kidnapped, being hostage, okay? Evasion on the, uh, on the ground, ground troops. Okay, all out war. And we always know that between Israel and Hamas or Palestine, it, it always been skirmishes. And, you know, now they deem Hamas as the, the terrorism and the, the, the land of Israel, the people that's over there, okay, as the victim. But we always know that it always the, the, uh, the Ish people or the land of Israel always been always been on the offense military wise against Palestine okay but now as we know more back into the news as they always go you know going to you know certain conflicts when it comes to war and this is right here getting more heated and heated but with us that's in the faith we know it goes back to the time or coming in the time of biblical prophecy because ultimately the ones that's over there in the land of Israel the ish people the small hats, the 48ers, they are not the original J.E.W. And I got to speak like that because, you know, if you go to a certain extent to speak on the topic of the the uh, the ish people, you know, you, 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 get a, you have a chance of getting your video striped, especially all this madness that's going on now. Because now it's to the point that even over here in America, you have ish people over here, okay, as they ramping up security due to this whole violent, um, a, a war attack on the land of uh, Israel. Okay, against those people. Okay, so now security is beeping, beefing up over here in America to protect the small hatters. Okay, and when you go to a, a limit to talk about what's going on, especially the the true Hebrew Hebrew Israelites. Okay, they are uh, censorship or delete your video. Okay, but it's well known that now we're in the time. Okay, especially us amongst Israel, those that's truly serving Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that we're in the time of the Lord visitation, visiting these small hats, man. Because they are not the original uh, inheritors of that land. And they actually are Edomites, the biblical Edomites, which are known as the so-called white race today. And chiefly, they are in power, man. Okay, from these elites on down. Okay, which they go back to one of the tribes of Edom, known as Amalek. Okay. And that land that they have in their possession now, which is our land, when it comes to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent, 
of the true Hebrew Israelites, okay, they stole that land. Okay, we always going to the Bear Ford Declaration, okay, the, the 19, you know, 48. You know, the time they, you know, appointed they self into that land. But now we're coming to the time of Yahweh Shema Shah about to bring great judgment on the biblical Edomites, starting with um, these elites and on down, man. Okay, all these Edomites, man. And eventually, you know, to sum it all up, we're coming into the time that eventually this place, America, is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire and the land of Israel, man. Okay? At the peak of the Third World War and at the present of the time of Yahweh Shai's second coming, when Yahweh Shai returned with the hosts of angels, uh, what the world will call UFOs, okay, which are the vehicles or the chariots of the angels, how Yahweh Shai is going to return, wage war against these nations, okay? And at that time, too, the Lord delivering the elect from out of the destruction from those missiles, okay? So we just at the beginning stage of it, man, okay? But the main, besides the Third World War that's about to take place, another key prophecy is the implementation of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, being the MOTB, okay? Which is the RFID micro CHIP, okay? Like I said, I got to, you know, speak in code, you know, so I won't risk, take, you know, having this video take down because I really wanted, you know, to do this lesson, you know, this quick lesson. And right before the missiles can launch, be launched, and you have a shot return at the same time, it's going to be a... a a transition when it comes to a new financial system as the world is ready to co uh, collapse financially the economy especially here in america and these elites about to do away with the physical dollar and bring in a digital currency which is that micro okay a digital electronic tag man okay that they presenting now and those of our people and, you know, especially our people, the, 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 the true biblical Hebrew Israelites that take that MOTB, they're going to be destroyed according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Okay? And at the same time, Yahweh Shai is waking up the Israelites, the true believers, okay, uh, uh, Israel, okay, which will consider the elect. So that's why you're seeing prophecies unfolding, man. And like I say, in this case, this whole situation with the all-out attack, on the state of Israel, man, from Hamas. And uh, like I say, I just got a couple of news headlines off of different, you know, websites or uh, news uh, programs. As you can see, news about Hamas, Gaza, and Israel. Okay, CNN, BBC. Okay, so this is, you know, nation or worldwide, man. CBS. Okay. You know, just scrolling. Yeah, you can go, you know, just type in Israel news and go into these certain uh, news articles or video clips that's going on in the situation over there in the, in the land, okay? So we're in the time of the coming of the Third World War, man. And Yahweh Shai warned us of this or tell us to look forward to this, uh, the signs of prophecies of his second coming. Okay, just, you know, scrolling, you know, so, you know, you can get a good look at the, you know, the, the articles or, you know, information. That's what's going on over there. Okay. And now you got America. I'm talking about they about to support the land of Israel. Okay, sending them aid, military aid, which America always known to back up the land of Israel when it comes to the military force, especially the, uh, the Air Force. Now you're starting to see more the coming of retaliation that they about to send, you know, missiles or, you know, troops over there. And the thing too, Hamas is on uh, those uh, military groups over there are backed up by um, the Iranians. Okay. And it's a known fact that the land or the, the, the people over there in Israel always been threatened by the Iranians. They always known to have, you know, conflict amongst each other but the thing about it you have russia okay backing up the iranians and at this time russia 
which they are Edomites, okay? And the Iranians go back to the ancient Persians, which are Elam, okay? A bunch of heathens. But over there in the land of Israel, you got, you know, the phony JEWs, which go back to Amalek, Edomites, self-proclaiming the land. And you got those Arabs, that's a mixture of uh, Ishmael, which are the Arabs today, which the word Arab just mean mixture, because you got Ishmaelites and Elam, okay, mingle amongst each other. And those Middle Eastern nations, man, where they were so-called so Middle Eastern nations, okay? Uh, when it comes to East Indians, okay, uh, Iraqis, uh, Afghanistanians, or Palestinians, uh, Pa uh, what um uh, I already say Palestine uh, Pakistan Saudi Arabia okay and all of them are turning the attention towards who's the problem in the Middle East man and it's those phonies over there man so now you start to see these nations gather together to wage war okay against America NATO the EU which are allies of America and uh, the uh, the Israelis over there man Okay, and now you're starting to see Russia taking a charge, man, to be a guide to these nations. Okay, right along with China, Syria. Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures, and that's gonna be the the video, cause this is uh, well-known news now. Okay, and this is just just another stepping stone of prophecy. Okay, and we're not saying that this is gonna actually lead to the 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 time of the Third World War, but it's one of the indicators. Because there's going to be a lot of uh, nations gathering together for war. But the main thing before the war can be fully advanced, this Third World War that we're about to approach, according to biblical prophecy, that RFID micro or the MOTB had to be implemented first. And both of the prophecy of the MOTB in, the war, in World War III is at an arm race, man. Okay? But we know here at Great Millstone, and according to prophecy, the MOTB is going to be the one that's going to be implemented first before those missiles can be launched. But this is Matthew chapter 24. Now I'm going to go to verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're coming in the time that these things are going to be coming to the past, man. Okay, but now we're at the time that the prophecies are speaking. Okay, because it wasn't when Yahweh Shah speak the prophecies of his second coming, Okay, this was going about two two thousand years ago, so now we're in the time of hearing about wars and rumors of wars. Okay, and we actually in the time of the coming of the Third World War. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdoms against kingdom, and there should be famines, and that's a talk of what uh, division. Okay, civil unrest here in America, all throughout different parts of the region of the earth, when it comes to these uh, nations and these superpowers. Okay. And it says, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So we're in the beginning stage of these things happening, man. Okay? We're coming in the time of famines. Okay? The talks of, of pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. Just look up, you know, the subject, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to famines, pestilence, earthquakes. Okay, current events, which is um, biblical prophecy, as we in. Okay, we in that time. So that's it on that. So eventually, man, we coming in the time of the Third World War, but like I say, that MOTB had to be implemented first. Let's go to Revelation chapter eleven, verse um, fourteen. Okay, and it says the second war is past. Okay. And the second woe, or the three woes, in the scriptures represent the three world wars. And it says the second woe is past. The word woe means destruction. So the second woe represent the second world war. Okay? We already had the first two. World War One and Two. And it says the second woe is past. And behold, the third woe come quickly. So the third woe is coming quickly. Okay, the, the World War Three. And the reason why it says quickly, because this is the indicator that the, at, the, at the time of the peak of the Third World War, Yahweh Shah is going to return. Okay? 
And it's only going to take Yahweh Shai in that present time only one hour to bring the destruction of America and the downfall of these heathens. Because after the destruction of America, Yahweh Shai is going to set up the kingdom of Israel, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Okay? And which, by the way, not only America is going to be destroyed by missiles by the hands of Russia, but also uh, the land of Israel, okay, to be to, to be cleansed, okay? And it's only going to take one hour. And the difference between the land of uh, America and Israel, America is never going to be built up again, okay? It's going to become a desert. But the land of Israel is going to be built up under our authority, Okay, under the rule of Yahweh Bashim Shai, once we back in our land. Okay, once Yahweh Shai delivered the elect and set the elect back here up on the earth, and the future of these nations going to be slavery, starting with the elites that's going to escape the missiles. Okay, they're going to be the first ones, right along with the other nations that remain after the destruction from those missiles, okay, to be reserved for slavery, and they're going to build our kingdom. Okay, Revelation 13. Uh, 9 and 10 go into that. And it says, And the seven angels sounded, and there were a great voice in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of our, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his anointed, and he shall reign forever and ever. Okay, so we're in the time of the coming of the, uh, uh, the Third World War. In America, in the land of Israel, okay, all the ones that's over there play a big part into that, man. Let me get this. Jeremiah chapter 49, <clears throat> verse um, 20. And it says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he has spoken or had taken against Edom. Okay? His purpose that he had have, have proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, and surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So this is going into... The e um the ish people man, okay, cause they the least of the flock, okay, but they the ones that's in power when it comes to Esau Edom, chiefly in power, okay. And when it says that, and the least of the flock should draw them draw them out going into America, cause eventually America is going to get involved with the whole conflict between Israel and the Iranians, okay, or Iran, okay, and just as America is going to back up Israel, you're going to have Russia. That's going to back up the Iranians, okay? The main two characters, man, uh, 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 when it comes to this major war, Russia and America, okay? But the, the uh, Israel going to, the phonies going to lead America to its destruction, man, by the hands of Russia, okay? That's where you're starting to see more and more. Yeah, okay, we know that uh, Ukraine and Russia is a, a part two into this Third World War. Okay, as you see now what's going on. Okay, but mainly the main focus between Israel and Iran. When you start to see them clash more and more, we that close to the Lord about to have America getting really involved and Russia getting involved more and more to a full-blown war. That's going to lead to this place destruction, man. Matter of fact, let me get on Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog. And Russia represent Gog and Magog today, as they over there in that, you know, the land mass or the ancient land mass of Gog and Magog. Okay, which was, you know, the original sons of Gog and Magog go back to Japheth. But we know throughout history, the Edomites took over that land. Okay, which the Russians today, they are Edomites. Okay. Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach, and Tobol, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus say the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, thy chief prince of Meshach and Tobol. Yeah, so the Lord is against those Russians too, because they Edomites, man. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah Shah, is going to just use them as a key part in this Third World War to bring the destruction to America and the land of Israel. Okay, as I, you know, been going throughout this lesson. And it says, because those Russian Edomites, they're going to go into captivity too. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth 
and all thy armies. And that's what you're seeing now. Because it was a point in time that you didn't hear too much about Russia ever since the, the, the talk of the Cold, the Cold Wars or the Soviet Union. Okay? And that's the whole reason why, you know, part of why the Lord put the spirit on the Edomites over there in Europe to create an alliance called NATO, okay, to come back against the Soviet Union and Russia. Okay, but throughout the years, you know, Russia had sanctions on them. But also at the time, they was building up their military force to the point that now it's a superpower. Okay? But the Lord is against the Russians. But now it's to the point that you're starting to see Russia flexing more when it comes to their military might. <clears throat> they start to be more and more in the fluence in the, the BRICS alliance. Okay? When it comes to the resources and other countries starting to dish the dollar and want to aid itself with Russia and China. Okay? You just look at the BRICS alliance. Okay? <clears throat> so you see, you starting to see more and more talks of Russia threatening America with a nuclear power and other countries that they aid in. And it says, And I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horses and horsemen, and all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, and all them helling in swords. Okay, so this is going into the modern day, the modern day advanced weapons, okay, of the Russians. Okay, when it comes to their military, and mainly their um, missiles. Verse 5. Persia, okay, I just say, okay, the modern day Iranians are the ancient Persians, okay, that go back to the biblical nationality, uh, Elam, okay, it said Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet, okay, so Gomar and all his bands, the house of Togomar and other north quarters. And all his bands and many people with thee. So these are the nations that the Lord going to set Russia to be a, a guide to, okay, or be alliance with. Okay, Persia, modern day Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, okay, uh, Syria, Turkey. And it says, and other nations, and China as well, okay. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Okay? Verse uh, 8. After many days, thou shalt be visited in the latter years. And that's we're in the time now, here in the end time prophecies. Okay? So now you start to see how Bashim al Shah putting the spirit on these Russians, or Russia and their allies to come against America, and their allies, and the state of Israel being one of America's allies, man. That's why now you're seeing more and more America talking about backing up uh, Israel, okay, when it comes to, to these wars, okay? And it says, Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. Yeah, it, why it's always been waste? Because the people that's over there are not the original inheritors, okay? And it says, Which have been always waste, but is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Okay? And so, you know, the Lord about to visit the, uh, the uh, Israel, man. So let me get this. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 39, you know, going into the prophecy when the Lord going to raise up the rushes against the, the uh, Israel. Okay? The brain of destruction by those missiles. Ezekiel chapter 39, and I'll get straight to the point. Verse uh, 3. And I will smite thy bow out thy left hand, and will cause thy arrows to fall out thy right hand, going into the missiles. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands, and the people that is with thee, I will give thee unto the raven's bird, every sort, and to the beast of the field to be devoured. Okay, let me see. Um, and yeah, so that's going into the missiles, man. And yeah, so we coming in that time. So it's going to be a, a nuclear war, man. And the, the one that's going to get devastated the most is America and the land of Israel <clears throat> due to biblical prophecy. Okay. 
So that's why now you're starting to see all of this, you know, coming to fruition when it comes to prophecy. Okay? Wars and rumors of wars. And eventually it is going to be a third world war. But here, you know, at, at the timeline of prophecy, we're focused on <clears throat> the MOTB being implemented in the time of the coming of Jacob's trouble and all hell breaking loose before the missiles can be launched. And that's also before Yahweh Shai make his second coming and to reproclaim the true Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay? And that he's going to set us back in our land, starting with the hopeful elect. Okay? And that we're going to rule out of our land forever, an everlasting kingdom. And these heathens going to be our servants for a thousand years, man. Okay? For the first thousand years. And after that thousand year period, <clears throat> the only nation that's going to be done away with is the biblical Edomites, the whole nation. Okay? Obadiah 1 and 18. But these prophecies are leading up to the time of the coming destruction of America and the downfall of Esau Edom and our coming kingdom through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect, which will, consum which will consider the 144,000 and the one third of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. Till the next time, Shalom.